Hello there and welcome to my channel, Backgammon is Beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Now today I have for you a backgammon proficiency test to see how good you really are at backgammon. Now in a short moment, I'm gonna talk you through the rules and then we will get started. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. New learning videos every Wednesday. Now I have devised this little ranking system there will be 12 quiz positions. If you get 11 or 12 correct, then that's Grandmaster, nine to 10, Master, seven to eight, Expert, five to six, Intermediate, three to four, Experience, and one to two, Novice. Now, of course, don't get too hung up on these. It's a bit of fun, just try your best. We are all on our own learning journeys. Of course, you can take these positions away, enter them into XG and play around further, investigate them and develop your understanding. I've also put my email there in the bottom right corner if you're interested in lessons. Now, some rules before we start. There are going to be 12 problems. They are all checker plays, so no cube decisions. All the positions are for money unless it states on the position. Answers will be given after each position is shown. So please pause the video after each position. You have 30 seconds to think about it. So you may want to write down the answers. And then when I do show you the answer after each position, I would give a little bit of insight to the correct play. Now, of course, these positions are complex and there is a lot more to say, but that is up to you to go away think about them, investigate them, or look at my other learning content. I just wanna give you something to kind of take away a little bit of food for thought. So without any further ado, good luck. I hope you do well. If you don't, don't worry about it. Let me know in the video description, in the chat there, how you got on. All the best, let's get started. Now, position number one, White has a 4-3 to play. Now the correct move is to make the 20 point. Now by making the incorrect five point, you use the wrong checkers by not efficiently unstacking your own six points. So and this is why the 20 point is correct. And also because green then cannot use sixes from their 11 point to make their five points. So this is a correct play, making the 20 point. Well done if you got it correct. If you didn't, don't worry, there's 11 more positions to go. Next position, white to play a 3-1. Okay, the correct move is 12 to 9, 4 to 3. Now the fastest way to make the full prime and contain that lone back checker is by slotting the back and the front. This diversifies your numbers to make the three point and to roll the prime forward. So this is a right play, 12 to nine, four to three. Let's move on. Position number three, white to play a five, four. The correct move is 23 to 14. So take advantage of green being on the bar and run while you are ahead in the race. Keeping the spares on the six and five points retains a flexible position to then make the higher four and three points. And this play also duplicates twos. So lots going on here. The correct move is 23 to 14. Position number four, white to play a two one. So the correct move is 21 to 20 hitting and then eight to six with the two. So after hitting, the race is equal. So play safe with a two to not get sent back again. Let's move on to the next position. Number five. So white to play five two. Now this is from a match. White is currently four away and green is two away. So the correct move is 13 to 11 and eight to three. 
Now the slotting play increases the gammon wins by 3%, which is very important at the score for away two away, where the gammon value is at one. So here we want to make the most gammon efficient play. 13, 11, eight to three. Position number six, white to play a six, four. So the correct move is to simply clear the eight point, eight to four, eight to two. Now we may want to play 13 to three, but that would be an error because it leaves green six winning shots and green has a superior front position. So here play safe and wait to see what happens. You may roll a double on a subsequent roll or green may be forced to run off the anchor. So now we're halfway through the quiz. I hope you're doing well. Six more positions to follow. Position number seven, white has a 6-3 to play. So the right play is to hit twice, eight to five, eight to two, the double tiger play. So here we have 10 in the zone as white and the deep one point made, which is a blitz structure. So he calls for a blitz attack. Now, by just hitting once on the five point, you also leave many shots. So you may as well hit twice. And obviously there's a big upside there if green dances or doesn't hit you back. Position number eight, white has a five two to play. It's one away, one away in a five point match. Okay, the correct move is 23 to 18, jumping off the anchor, and then six to four, making the banana split play. Now at DMP, you make the play that wins the most games. Now hit and split is risky, but it has a huge upside if green dances. So at DMP, this is simply the best play to make. Position number nine, white has a six one to play. So the right play is 16 to 10, 6 to 5, and this is correct because it elegantly duplicates greens, threes and ones. Green needs those numbers to hit us and also to make their own five point. Position number 10, white has a 6-5 to play. So the right move is 14 to three. Now slotting in front of the two anchors in this back game improves our timing if we are hit. And if we're not hit, then it allows us to make the three point. So here green has reasonable timing, being 75 pips behind. So here there's an upside when we're hit and also an upside if we're not hit. So 14 to three is a correct move here in this back game scenario. Number 11, white has a 4-3 to play. Now the correct play is 13 to six, hitting on the six point. Now, this is correct because the hitting play leads to a redouble pass if green dances. Anything else besides this gives green too much initiative and we do not have timing as white to hold the two outfield points. If we play 16 to 12, four to one, then we are going to have to break those points soon anyhow. So here we make the aggressive hitting play and hope that green dances. And the final position, white to play 6-1. Now, the right answer is 13 to 7, 2 to 1. This is a classic gammon save problem. 
Now, after you have made the correct play, 13 to seven and two to one, then all fours and threes will take off if green, of course, doesn't roll a double. So here you give yourself more good rolls to save the gammon. So there we are, 12 positions. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope uh, it was challenging. Let me know how you get on in the chat. Let me know your score. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and contact me on my email below should you need to. So thank you for watching. I hope that was fun. Hopefully you learned a few things you can go away and uh, play with further to improve your game, take it to the next level. Best wishes. See you next Wednesday. Goodbye.